everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's full body hit for strength and cardio. So if you want to build muscle across your whole body and lose body fat, then you've come to the right workout. Are you ready? You don't need any equipment, you just need you and your strong mind. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so let's take it into a quick warm up. 30 seconds on a few different exercises, starting with a leg swing. Balance on one leg, swing that other leg forwards and backwards. If you have a wall to hold on to, then that might help. Otherwise, balancing on one leg, opening up the hips as you push back, and then stretching the hamstrings as you lift up. And same on the other side, balance on the other leg, hold on to wall if you like, balance, open up the hips and leg swing. So this workout is like a, a big superset or a big giant set for each muscle group, splitting the workout in a lower body, upper body, core and cardio section. We do each exercise without any rest and then we rest at the end of the mini circuit or the mini giant set. Let's take it to running on the spot, nice and light to begin with, nice and soft on the toes, the ankles, relax your shoulders, take deep breaths. Let's get the body warm for one more minute before we take it into the main workout. Take it into a deep squat, final 30 seconds, set your feet and then sit down low, stretching the ankles, the calves. You can use your elbows to drive your knees out a little bit, stretching the groin, chest up. If you don't have that flexibility, drop your hands on the floor, and move side to side. Just find that nice stretch, nice and low. Final few seconds, we take it into the leg section. Okay, stand up and rest there. I'm gonna change the timer to 40 seconds on each exercise, and we're gonna start in a squat position. Okay, first exercise is a body weight squat. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Feet hip width apart, chest up, sit down and stand. Make sure your feet stay flat on the ground, bum goes down, Squeeze the glutes, keep your knees out in line with your feet. We have 40 seconds in the squat. If you wanna keep this basic and simple for you, then just stay here, that's fine. If you wanna increase the intensity, you can pick up the speed or go into a squat jump if you like. So we're gonna take it straight from here with no rest into an alternate reverse lunge. So stand up, take a big step backwards, reverse lunge, switch legs. Both legs, stay up tall, drive that front knee forwards, back knee softly down towards the floor. Push up through that front heel to squeeze the glutes. Building strength now in the whole lower body, quads, hamstrings, glutes. Keep going. We're gonna take it straight from here into an alternate static side lunge. Take a wide stance, feet facing forwards or slightly outwards. Down we go to one side, up, over to the other side. Go slowly down. Move however feels natural for you and your knees, your hips working our adductors, our glutes. This is a tough workout because there's no rest between exercises. We rest after them. Gonna go straight from here, laying on the floor in a bridge position. Down we go, lay on your back, feet on the floor, hands on the floor, into bridge. Tuck under the tailbone, stomach in, 
Squeeze the hamstrings, glutes and lower back. Get that slight pause at the top to squeeze the right muscles. When you hear the beep, we get a 40 second rest. And rest there, well done. Okay, enjoy your rest period. Have a drink if you need, shake off the legs. This is an all round leg section. We're gonna repeat it again for set two before we move into the upper body. So enjoy the next 25 seconds before we go into our squat. Okay, get ready for the squat. Set your feet in a good position. Focus on that technique. Let's go. Sit down, squeeze the glutes, push that floor away. The lower you can go, the better, but focus on where you are in your journey, your strength, and how you feel today. Find your rhythm and momentum. Ten seconds before we go into the alternate reverse lunge. Okay, stand up, take a big step backwards, stand up, switch legs. Remember, it's not all about rushing through the reps necessarily, but focusing on the time under tension in the muscle groups. We're gonna take it straight from here into the alternate static side lunge. Okay, wide stance, feet turning outwards. Sit down to one side, push up to the top. Other side. Keep it going, halfway. Ten seconds before we hit the floor and work the bridge. And down we go into bridge on our back, hands on the floor, push through the heels, up high, stomach in, drive up hamstrings, bum, lower back. We get to rest after this bridge. Keep pushing, drive those hips up high. Oh, that feels good, well done. Enjoy your 40 seconds rest. That is the legs completed. So there will be a bit more legs in the cardio section coming up, but let's move into the upper body, okay? Enjoy the next 30 seconds rest before we take it into the upper body section, which is identical to the lower body. 40 seconds on four exercises with 40 seconds rest times two sets. So get ready for exercise one, which is the push-up. Stay in your standard push-up stance. Drop the knees at any point you need. You can do the first set on your knees if you need to warm up into the shoulders. Get ready in four seconds for your push-up. Here we go, to the top, slowly down, stretch the chest, drive up and squeeze. Shoulders back 
engaged. Open up the chest, spread your fingers, drop the knees if you need to get the depth. We're going straight from here into a crab position, toe tap. Open it round onto your back, hands on the floor, bum up. From here, kick one leg up, opposite hand to opposite toe. Keep moving, open up the chest, core engaged, hips down low, and keep those triceps and shoulders working at the back. Keep it going. We're gonna move from here into the pike push-up. The pike push-up is really, real tough one. Okay, come round onto your front, like your push-up position, but walk your feet in, elevate the hips. From here, you can either hold or drop and push. Let's go. Even if it's just halfway and push, that's fine. Or like I said, you can hold here to work the shoulders. Up to you. We're gonna go from here into a high plank rotation. High plank here, open up, single arm rotation. Come down in your own time and twist. Keep your hand underneath your shoulder. Nice and strong in this position here. Keep going. 12 seconds before we rest. Okay, well done. Rest there. That is set one of the upper body section. You now know what's coming up. Oh, I'm sweating today. Are you guys sweating? Are you working hard? It's a mixture of this glorious weather, but also a tough workout. Get ready for your push up in six, five, Four, let's do it, round two. Push-ups, slowly down, stretch the chest and the shoulders, push up and squeeze. Drop the knees here and do the same at any point. You can go faster for more reps or slow for time under tension. Ten seconds before the crab toe tap. Turn it around onto your back, hands on the floor, hips up, toe tap, alternating sides. It's a good one for opening up the shoulders, stretching the front of the chest here, whilst also working on strength. Get ready for that pike push-up or pike hold. Turn around, hands on the floor. Up you come into pike, hold or reps.
make sure you bring your chin towards your chest looking behind you get ready for the high plank rotation down you come to that high plank position shoulders are burning come on open it up hold squeeze core engaged turn it around Keep it going, 18 seconds left. We're gonna rest for 40 seconds after this. We take it into the cardio section. Well done, rest there. The shoulders are burning. Great one for building muscle across the upper body. Okay, are you ready? Have your rest, have a drink. You can do the same for the cardio exercises. In 20 seconds, we're gonna start with the burpee. Now this is tough because you've gotta have the endurance now to do these four exercises without resting, but I want you to learn how to slow down but not give up. <coughs> burpee is exercise one. Here we go, hands down, jump back, jump up or stand up. Option to go to half burpee here and up. Over halfway, keep going, find your version of burpee so you can keep on doing. This is now about getting the heart rate up, conditioning the body, burning lots of calories too. Get ready for jumping jack in two, one. Jumping jack, straight in. Arms coming up, legs coming out. Smile and have fun. We're pushing it now. We're gonna go from the jumping jack straight into running on the spot, like the warm up, but with more intensity. Here we go, arms, legs, run. Keep going. Stay focused, breathe, push it. This is exercise three out of four before a rest. Ten seconds. We're going to take it into a lateral shuffle, side to side movements. Come to one side and step twice. Squat, change direction. If you don't have the space, then one step like this is fine. Breathe and push. You should be able to feel the heart rate up, you're breathing up compared to the strength parts. But with that said, we're still building strength in our legs here. Rest there, well done. Whoa, 40 seconds rest. Take a breather, have a drink if you need, and let's do that again.
So 10 seconds, get ready to repeat from the top, those four exercises, recover, burpee, your version, work hard. Here we go. If you're struggling to keep up and you feel like giving up, don't give up. Just make it a bit easier and slower. That's fine. 10 seconds before the jumping jack. Okay, and here we go. Jumping jack. Great thing about body weight training is you can make it as intense as you want. Slow this down or speed it up. Your level, how you're feeling today, push to what you need. 10 seconds before running. Let's go, arms, legs, knees up. Soft landing on the toes and ankles. Keep pushing, we're gonna take it from here to the lateral shuffle to finish all cardio before abs. Okay, lateral shuffle. Your heart rate should be spiking. The highest it's been in the workout. And we have less than 40 seconds to get to the end of this section. Twenty seconds, halfway. Coming to the end now. Five seconds. And rest there, well done. Breathe, recover. Whilst you're recovering, I'll change the timer back to 30 seconds each, because what we're gonna go for now is ab section. 30 seconds each exercise, three exercises instead of four, still two sets. That's gonna take us to the end of the workout, okay? Okay, so starting in a standard sit-up or crunch. Get ready in three, two, one. Let's go, feet on the floor, lay back, sit up, squeeze the abs, control slowly down. If you can't full sit up, then crunch halfway. This is now where we build the six pack ab muscles, a stronger core. Gonna take it straight into a reverse crunch. Lay on your back, knees up, extend legs out, pull back in. If you wanna make it a bit easier, lift your chest up, engage the core. Try to get your legs straight. If you can't, single leg, single leg, your version. Pull the stomach in, flatten the back, stay safe. Gonna go straight from here to exercise three out of three. In a plank, hip drop. Elbows, forearms down, hold it here. Drop one hip down, up. Other hip down, up. Keep switching in your own time. Pull in those abs. 
We get to rest for 30 seconds after this. And rest there. Rest for 30 seconds. Let's repeat those three exercises again. And that will take us to the end of the workout. Starting in the sit up or the crunch in four, three. Let's go. Stay safe and burn it out. This is your final section of the day, so make it worth it. Straight from here into the reverse crunch, both legs or single leg. Let's go, on your back. Single leg is like this, or both legs extend, drive it in. Burn it out. This is your final chance to work the core. Coming into the plank hip drop to finish. Turn it around. Elbows, forearms down. Hold the core strong, belly in. Drop one hip up, other hip up. This is 30 seconds to the end of the workout. No finisher. This is the end. Burn out those abs, keep lifting. And rest there, workout complete. Well done everyone. Let's take it to a very quick cool down and stretch, okay? Wipe the sweat, have a drink if you need. And let's take it into three exercises for a cool down. Come to a standing position. Let's take it into a forward fold, soften the knees. Drop your fingers to the floor, drop your head, lengthen the legs however far feels good for you. Relax your upper body. Oh, feel the stretch in the hamstrings, lower back, upper back, neck. Take nice deep breaths. Come to a standing position. Let's do 30 seconds on each quad. Balance, hold onto a wall if you like, and quad stretch. Drive hips forward, soften in the standing leg, and stretch the quads. Oh, we worked all over the upper body there, but especially these, these quads at the beginning of the workout. This is a workout because it's mixed and it's full body. You can come back and repeat multiple times even multiple times per week if you like. Switch to the other 30 seconds, other leg 30 seconds. This is the end of the workout now. Yeah, you can come back and do this multiple times because it's a bit of strength, a bit of cardio, full body, easy to recover from, or easier to recover from than focusing on one muscle group at a time. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up and that you don't lose it so you can come back and repeat it lots and lots. Okay, shake it off, workout and stretch complete. Thank you so much for joining me in this workout. It is an honor and a pleasure to be training with you. And I just love how this community is building. You're loving these YouTube workouts. So please comment below any ideas. What workouts would you like to do with me? And I will make them for you, okay? Click subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.